Some things belong in the barn. And some things do not. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can keep the barn where it belongs and what you need to know in order to safely prepare food for the public. When you leave the barn, you probably look something like this. The first step for any 4 h -er coming out of the barn is to get clean. That means changing out of your barn clothes and boots, putting your hair up or in a cap, and making sure to thoroughly wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Once you're cleaned up, it's time to check in with a supervisor. They're going to ask you about two things. The first is illness. Have you been ill lately? No, sir. Do you know what I mean by illness? Yes, sir. Vomiting and diarrhea. Good. Should you work while you're ill? No, sir. And if you are ill, you can't work with food until you've been symptom-free for 24 hours. Second, your supervisor will give you your job for the day. You'll either be working with food or working with money, but never both. When you're preparing foods, there's a few things you need to know. Like, never touch ready-to-eat foods with your bare hands. Like salad or hamburger buns. Right, you'll want to use gloves, tongs, or deli tissue to touch any food that doesn't need to be cooked before serving. Great, so I can just keep this on the rest of my shift then. No, every time you switch from raw to ready-to-eat foods or to handle money, you'll need to change gloves. You can remove them by pulling one glove inside out and placing it in the other hand, like so. Don't forget to wash your hands either. Next, avoid cross-contamination. Cross-contamination is mixing raw foods with ready-to-eat foods, like using a cutting board to prepare hamburgers, and then using the same cutting board to chop a salad. Oh no! Also, make sure you know the proper hot and cold holding temperatures. Cold food should always be held below 41 degrees. Hot food should be held above 135 degrees. Finally, make sure foods have been cooked to a safe temperature. So this hamburger right here, I want to cook to? 160 degrees. And this chicken over here? 165 degrees. Don't forget, after leaving the barn, change your clothes and wash your hands. Talk to your supervisor about any illness you may be experiencing. If you're healthy, get your job duty for your shift. Use tongs, tissues, or gloves when handling ready-to-eat foods. Change your gloves and wash your hands when switching tasks. Avoid cross-contaminating raw foods with ready-to-eat foods. Keep cold foods below 41 degrees and hot foods above 135. And last but not least, cook meats to a safe temperature. That's 160 degrees for beef and 165 degrees for chicken. With these tips and tools, you'll be able to safely prepare food for the public.